When I say think of a cheater, what do you think of? The Jets spinning in circles, landing headshots even when they're looking at the ground? Or your teammate that just knows where everyone's at and they say they have boxes on their screen? Well, when I think of a cheater, it's just someone better than me. No, I'm just kidding. But what I'm talking about today is a certain cheat that isn't detectable and a lot of people use it and you may not even tell. And it's super easy to get away with. Just know I do not support the creation, promotion, or use of cheats. If you do that, you are a horrible person and I hate you. Real quick, let's get into the type of cheats that there are. So everyone knows the classic aimbot and wall hacks. You've probably heard your teammates accuse the enemy team of it a million times. But have you ever heard of something called trigger bot? Well, if you haven't, that means you're a good person and you don't use cheats. But if you have, then you've probably gone against it or you use it. Or you've probably seen a video about it. Anyways, trigger bot is a cheat where if any enemy comes across your crosshair, your gun will automatically shoot. But snipes. Yeah, uh, I can just use my eyes. Trigger bot is pointless. I can just click my mouse when the enemy walks over it. Like, it doesn't seem like a cheat at all. Well, you would be right, young hard stuck iron 3. But there's just one thing about it. Triggerbot has a 0.1 millisecond reaction time. Yeah, it's so fast that if you spectate someone using it, it shoots before the enemy even comes on screen. Now, another thing you could be saying is this. Why wouldn't I just use aimbot and wall hacks? It just seems pointless to hinder myself using a cheat that works less than one that can just instantly one-tap everybody and I can see everyone through walls. Well, again, it would be right. But there's just one thing about this cheat that makes it better than all the other ones. And it's the fact you don't get banned. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't go installing cheats. It's not like 100% you don't get banned. I'm just saying you don't get banned nearly as fast as any of the other cheats. You will eventually get banned over time, even if you only use it once. Because Vanguard is an actual pretty decent anti-cheat. Well, sort of. Because Vanguard checks most of your processing, your memory, and a lot of other things. Well, most cheats run through your memory. That's how they know the location of the enemies and everything. This cheat reads your screen. Now, for some people, that may be hard to understand because memory and visual stuff graphics, cheats can be placed anywhere with inside your computer as long as it has access to visuals or memory. AHK, all it needs is your screen data. And Vanguard doesn't really need to check that because most cheats read your memory, and checking visual data makes any cheat run your PC really badly, like your FPS will drop. So pretty much, think of it this way. You go through a metal detector, they check your pockets, or your backpack, hell, they may even like check under your shirt just in case you got any like, stuff strapped to you, but just like Magnus Carlsen, it's up your ass. The cheats, they're not gonna check there. So that's why I say in the next VCT lockdown match, they should have everyone stripped down naked and check <laughs> Sorry, got a little carried away there. But like I said, these cheats are stored for visual memory and only read your screen and not your game. So that's what makes this cheat so undetectable because the Vanguard anti-cheat doesn't detect it. It's not actively searching for that. So that's why every match you play, there is a chance that somebody may be using it and you'll never know unless they have the settings on a really high. A lot of people I've met before have admitted to using it, and they've been using it for months. There's even a Reddit thread that shows that people have been using it for a long time. And another thing is, this is even in Radiant matches. Some of you may remember the streamer because there was some controversy around him because he was banned, known as the Space Bar Shooter because he claimed he shoots with a space bar and not as a mouse. The fuck? What? Really, dude? Now, I'm not saying a lot of pros cheat, and I believe that most people in Radiant don't cheat. But there is a chance, because there has been actively more than a thousand Radiant bans. Yeah, a thousand. Well, that's going across all places, not just in America or whatever region you live in. But think about this. Imagine some way, somehow, someone goes into a tournament and sneaks in Triggerbot. And they set it to the just right setting that looks human, but still naturally faster than everybody else. 
let's say the reaction time of 120 milliseconds. It doesn't look 100% crazy, but at the same time, it's still really fast and you have the advantage in any fight you take. Real quick, before we get into the rest of this video, please consider liking and subscribing. You've already gotten this far in the video and it seems like you may be enjoying it. And I have other content like this, and I'm going to be posting daily pretty soon, so if you want to keep up with the content, hit the subscribe button. And let's get right back into it. Now, you're probably saying, wow, Snipes, you just made this cheat sound like a godsend, I can get rating without even trying? Well, yes and no. You're not going to get Radiant because you'll get banned before you get there. Most of the people that have cheated that were in Radiant were already Immortal or Radiant. And if you do use the cheat, two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to find out where you live. Okay, actually, these two things will happen. One, you're going to be playing matches and you're going to be on edge a lot. You're going to be thinking, what if I get banned and stuff? Which you will, because, you know, the anti-cheat van card is well made and it's going to know because it will receive an update and it will read the things that your PC has done because even though it's not reading your direct memory, it's still placed within it. It's not reading Valorant's memory, it's in your PC's memory and Vanguard has access to that. Now this video isn't about me explaining how Vanguard works and everything because that would take a lot more of me reading stuff and I don't want to give wrong information or something that just isn't true. So if you want to see me make a video about how Vanguard and all that stuff works, I can. Just let me know down in the comments. But for now, these anti-cheats work pretty much like, I don't know, Border Patrol. They just stop you from coming in, but sometimes if they see something going on, on the other side, they'll reach on over and grab you. Well, I think that's all I have to really say about Triggerbot. It's just some cheat that, you know, shoots faster than everyone else. And remember, if you use cheats, you're a horrible person and I hate you. Well, also let me know down in the comments below what I should do next, or if you want to see that Vanguard anti-cheat video. And till next time, guys. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. This Take is sight. so good. Bro, does this guy think he's fucking Dazner? Can it plays? Plays? Wait, fucking fuck? plays! Oh my god, this Bro. game's dog shit. Alright, I'm gonna ult. Bro, Reyna, I'm... Mm. Yo, be careful peeking right here, they're jet ops. Um, Sova, can you drone? I, uh, apparently I have just my words. Yeah. <laughs>